when Tarantula gives you this attitude, whoa, these two are moving there. Yeah, you guessed it right. This is going to be a rehouse video. Here around us we have all the needed ingredients. First of all, two empty enclosures, the restaurant enclosures. You see I already made and installed the backgrounds. These are my standard terrestrial enclosures, 25 by 25 by 30. Opens on front, cross ventilation, top ventilation on the, the top lid. Everything that terrestrial enclosure should have. Other needed ingredients are a bucket full of substrate. Of course, you don't need a bucket full of substrate, but we need a lot of substrate. We have a bunch of cork marks that will serve as a height for tarantulas. And of course, the main two actors of this video, two tarantulas. You are probably already anticipating this rehouse. Because this is Sashenka, and once she is settled in her new enclosure, we will pair her with Sasha, my first tarantula. Sashenka is Gramostola Rosea, and the other tarantula is the beautiful Brahipelma Vagans. In one of recent videos, I asked you if you want me to rehouse her, Brahipelma Vagans, or my adult big Brahipelma that is also being kept in this this small enclosure, Brahipelma Emilia, and majority of you, as I assumed, voted for this Brahipelma Vagans because she is. A beauty, a real beauty. Not that Brahipelma Emilia isn't beauty, but she is prettier. Out of almost 5,000 views, 70% of you wanted her to be rehoused. So we will do just that. And Sashenka is being kinda active now. Are you excited for a new enclosure, huh? More space to move around and appropriate height. But she will need to wait a bit because first we are going to rehouse Brahipelma Vagans. Then we will make your enclosure and rehouse you. Sashenka. <laughs> That's her name. So let me just close her. I'll put her here. Move her and pull the enclosure. So you can see well what is happening. Although this is a standard procedure, you know. I just need a smaller, smaller bucket. Enclosures for terrestrial tarantulas are pretty straightforward. At least if you are keeping it simple. As I definitely will. Substrate, cork bark hide, more substrate. Most of terrestrial tarantulas will prefer to have more substrate, so you can't really miss if you put a lot. The more the merrier. But also in the same time with more substrate there is a higher chance that your tarantula will just dig and you won't be able to see her that much. But it all comes down to a personality of the of the individual tarantula. As usual, substrate is a mixture of cocoa fiber and potting soil, and we are going to spice it up with some leaf litter. And twigs, of course. Just throw that around without much thinking. And add some sprinkle of leaf litter. And just a few minutes later, the enclosure is complete, ready for tarantula. Let me just set it up. Let's get her to move first. She's being <laughs> passive, kinda. <laughs> Some weird body language movement. Really weird movement. Hey, I will need you to... Oh no, not to do that. There's no reason to be defensive. Honestly, there is no reason to be defensive. You're just getting new enclosure. I have a feeling we won't be handling her. Come on, don't be... No, oh, she's definitely not happy. Going for a standard tactic then. When Tarantula gives you this attitude, whoa, thread postures and slapping from a Brahipelma. What a beautiful video. Come on, darling, don't be like that. Hugo, just enter the cup. Thank you, and here we are. Ta da da da. You are inside of... Come on, let it go, please. Please, you are Brachipelma. Act like one. We can do it like that, of course. Go inside. Move leg one, leg two, leg three. Please cooperate. Oh, drama queen. What a drama queen, I cannot believe. Seriously, what is this all about? Don't you think that you are a little bit over dramatic? <laughs> let me... Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, this is your new enclosure. Enjoy it! <laughs> she definitely doesn't appreciate it. Come on, it is not that bad, right? You have more space, you have actual height. You have more substrate so you can dig around. So convenient and better than this. 
Yet you need to be so dramatic. I guess that is a thank you for me, right? But damn, she's so gorgeous, especially in this new environment. Look at this. So nice, yes. Did you ever encounter a leaf litter in your life? I'm really wondering what was your previous enclosure. I mean, before I got her. People rarely use a leaf litter in Brahipyama enclosures. Baking off now, huh? <laughs> you have a nice spinneret down there. Okay, that was enough of admiring. Now it is time to make another enclosure. Because Sashenka is definitely anticipating that. I'll just slide her on this side and pull this enclosure here. Now I will do the same thing. Substrate, more substrate, and even more substrate. That is all the substrate that I have. <laughs> it needs to be enough. I would prefer more, but it will have to do. But for her hide, I will probably use... Whoa, or not. I'm thinking of using it like this, but it doesn't look nice. I have these. At first I wanted to use this so I can... If she makes an exec, it will be easier for me to pull the actual exec from her, from her hide if she would be inside. Because you see, it is wide and open, but... Then I noticed that it is way too big for this enclosure, you see? Way too big. Maybe I can break this one. Yeah, this will work. Or actually the other side. Yeah, I will orientate it the other way. Oh no, I'm definitely lacking the substrate. Do I have anything else? I only have a plain cocoa fiber. So I will put it now. I don't really have a choice because I want to have more substrate inside. I will replace it later if I really want to do that, if it will bother me too much. Although now when it's moist you can barely see the difference. This is cocoa fiber and this is the mixture. You can barely spot the difference here, but I don't like it. Let's make it better with leaf litter. And I can actually put some interesting pieces of wood inside to make the enclosure a bit more interesting although i'm not sure if there will be now enough space for for pairing sasha will need to be extra careful hmm, will that look good i actually decided to move it a bit further as you see and now the sprinkle of the magic dust and a little bit of more of something just to make it look a bit more fun well here we go this definitely turned out to be a different than i expected at first <laughs> I haven't had plans to use those wood pieces. Now where is Sashenka? Are you in a better mood than Rahipelma? Let me just check that. Oh yeah, she's definitely in a better mood. So Sashenka, I will need you to move out so I can rehouse you. Hello. I'm just going to I'm just going to lift you up. Yeah, she was also a sweetheart last time, so I'm not really afraid of her. She behaved well. Oh my god, this was a close call. Sashenka, I will put you here just for a second. Please don't move away. Oh my god, this almost fell. I mean it fell, but it almost fell on the spider. That would be terrible. Sashenka, I told you not to move. Okay, it will hold for now, hopefully. Please just long enough so we can... Oh, I don't like when they react like that. Just long enough so we can move Sashenka into her new enclosure. Let me just guide you, slowly but surely. Just move forward, forward, there you go. That is your new place. That is your new creep. Feel free to explore it. Look what she's doing. She was webbing the hide. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh, look how she is making a web, a web trail. I see one sweet spinneret. <laughs> sweet, sweet spinnerets. but you are now going the wrong way. I need you to go back down. Let me just put the top lid. There, now we are set. Look at the web trail, you can actually see it. So cool. So, Sashenka, are you going to explore more? Oh, check this out. She went inside of her hide. <laughs> Sweet. Ooh, from this angle you can even better see the trail. You see how it is going from here all the way to her 
but <laughs> but speaking of buts i think that we can conclude this video let me just get one nice nice picture of both enclosures there they are looking good look even here the web trail come on seriously it looks like i need to find new solution for this oh and it actually broke the top lid look there's a crack oh no but yeah now we don't have enough light but i can increase the iso so let's just conclude this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did thumbs up and comment something if you want to support this channel even more so i can get some different system there's a patreon page if you're new to this channel make sure to subscribe up every monday and friday so see you again soon bye, -bye.